Okay, are we team out of two minutes? <laughs> if the worst that thing goes if the worst thing that goes wrong is the platform being glitchy, then that's not bad at all. Let's see. I see a bunch of people who are asking for PO apps now, and I'm like I've I've said I'm I'm just a little uh Okay, are we team? Okay, what are we? I worked my timer. A minute and a half. And that's not I see a bunch of people who are us now and I'm like I've I've said I'm I'm just a little <laughs> Okay, what are we? I worked my timer. A minute and a half. Don't don't forget the extra uh, five seconds after half past. There's a little quirk in with the way uh, the ETH one blocks are picked up. Yep, we got five seconds extra this time. In with the happening. I have a note as well, but I don't think. It's working. I've published an attestation. I published a block. You so got you got an early block? I re yeah, I've just received a block. Oh, that was my one. So yeah, slot one was one of my validators. Uh huh. And then I was attesting in slot two. So yeah, I'm seeing blocks. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing attestations. I'm publishing attestations. It's looking good. Yep. Yep. I don't know the prism client that I'm running is not working. <laughs> and so is the Explorer not working, I think. My prism appears to be submitting. I have two attestations in on eight validators. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Metal Albert yeah. got, uh, uh, got the first block, it looks like. Let's see if... Uh, Beacon Chain has picked I, it up I, yet. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything on Beacon Chain yet. No, no, the real wave issues with the notes, I think. So do I on my local computer. Uh. Looking fairly smooth. We've got a couple of empty slots so far. Um, my, my Teku validator just published an attestation and an aggregate. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, yeah. Um, we, we'll have um, attestations and aggregates at every slot because the committees are so small at the moment, right? Um, so everybody's an aggregator in every slot. Yeah, yeah. So the first that was four... my first Teku attestation now. The first four blocks appear missed on the Explorer now, but I'm not sure if it's if they're actually missed. Yeah, I'm seeing seeing blocks in slot one, slot two, slot four, slot five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's just skipped three and six so far, and eleven. Ben, are you seeing any uh, uncut? Unhandled exceptions on Teku. <laughs> I, <have a> couple. <laughs> I love Java. Uh, nothing, nothing yet. Got my logs here. Okay, um, save your logs, Danny. We yeah, love, we, we, we love that. <laughs> <laughs> it still seems like things are happening, so I'm not terribly worried. But I definitely have some uh, exceptions bubbling up. Um. Yeah, it looks like I got I have blocks at slot thirteen and fourteen. Yep. Let's check on. Oh, so many windows open. Oh. It's. 
I guess it's hard to say from the E2 stats if people are actually in consensus. Everyone, yeah. everyone on E2 stats is following head block. Everyone's right. like at least have, didn't crash. Yeah, all seems to be the same head block uh, across everybody. That's mm -hmm. a good sign. Got, got Nimbus in the party this time. Yeah, terrific. Any one of you running a prison mode? I am. Biz and Proto are. I'm running Teku and Lighthouse. That's all I could get configured last night before I went to bed. <laughs> Let's see. Here's my prism node, eight validators. Why is that showing source root zero zero zero? Is it because of the epic? No? Yeah. yeah, source root during Epic Zero. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's kind of like a stub for the Genesis root. Um everyone votes on zero at that time. I guess the earliest we can get something new justified at the end of epoch one. So, you know, 12 and a half minutes into this. Um, and then the earliest we can get something finalized would be the end of Epoch 2. I'm, I'm counting from zero. We should be nearing. So, like eight. Oh, we're five minutes in. We're, so, we're seven minutes away from the end of first epic. Yeah, and we're, we're not going to get. Actually, yeah, I don't think we're going to get like a visual signal, signal that we've justified at that point because everyone's kind of still coalescing on the genesis, which is already kind of justified to begin with. Um, so the first like 32 slots are just kind of everyone building the initial chain. Um, let's see, slot, slot 24, are y'all seeing head block OX6ACF? Got it. Cool. I pulled that from uh, Lighthouse, so it looks like Lighthouse and Teku are agreeing. Does anybody else? It, uh, Proto is not speaking, but uh, scroll. do we have a, nim a Nimbus Sandy check on slot, 60, slot 24 or, or a Prism Sandy check on slot 24? Can you see that Superfizz maybe in your log? I'm, I'm checking for slot. I'm looking for slot 24. Right, we just hit 67% participation in that epoch, so we're just over the threshold to finalize it. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. gone up 69% uh, now it's caught up, so we just started epoch uh, one. I yeah, don't have a committee. Sweet. So it looks like epoch, the first epoch should finalize. I didn't have a committee assigned on 24. Oh, okay, yeah, and you might only see that if you're making a vote. Um, I'm on. Th cool. I got 32. If you want it, 32. I have, yeah, give me thir give me 32. Uh, eight nine six zero. Yep, can confirm. Yep, eight nine six zero on. So that's Lighthouse, Teku, and Prism. Let's see. Mike doesn't work. Hover your mouse. Hey, uh, Proto, check the pancake. Oh, you can hear me. Check the pancake in the upper left of remote, and it gives you um, speaker options, mic options. Yeah, I just asked him on Telegram if you can give us 32 for Nimbus. All 
I have to say this is um, running the two clients I ran today was much, much smoother like getting them up and running than, um, you know, a test nut or two ago, which is very good. I also, I wasn't here on Saturday when I think everyone, there was like all the rapid bug fixing and, and kind of sorting through stuff. So I came in and got the easy job. I was panicked. I couldn't get Lighthouse to work. Oh, but today it's a. You can you can hover your sorry you can hover your mouse over on the head slot on E two slats, E two stats to see the head root. Wow, didn't know that. Thanks, Berto. Yeah, sometimes it changes under you, and you have to be a bit quick because uh, all the clients update at slightly <laughs> different times. Nimbus seems a bit late. Tech is laggy. I mean, we get the block, but we don't actually put it out on the API until about six seconds after everyone else, uh, and it. Looks like gotcha. Everyone on uh, it looks good on slot forty-five, and then it just changed. <laughs> uh, but it, I think I think everyone's following the same chain. Yeah. I'm looking at dashboards and things. Everything looks sweet. Memory usage is going up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone is. Um, where's Teku at right now? Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. The, the the Java virtual machine is greedy. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing a lot of work on on this uh, lately. I mean, the the actual heap size we've managed to get down quite uh, quite small compared to the, the the others as well. But um, yeah, the JVM just takes a lot of stuff, and there are database write buffers and uh, all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's another um, few hundred. Well, and it's funny because I know your machine is very highly mm. resourced and it has it's currently using the most yeah memory because uh, pr presumably the the jvm might know that it has a ton of yeah resources. right so it's not making any effort to um to um be frugal uh so it just lets it expand into the available space yeah yeah whereas like produce tech proto second node is 750 mm -hmm. right now where's mine my tech node is only 600 <laughs> megs <laughs> I'd like to have more sortable options on ETH2 sets. Yeah, yeah. I know there's been some disruption in the team that was maintaining it, so um, I, I don't know if there's been many much developmental features recently. Yeah, I'd understood that would make some decisions about its long-term um, future within um, the planning for Q3, so we should be now, right? So mm -hmm. we may get some news. I'll chase up on that. But uh, everyone loves it. So I think we should uh, definitely keep it. Yeah, I'm looking at map view. Reasonable Ooh. distribution. Someone's in Kiev. Proto's all over the world. <laughs> it's... Uh... Um, someone asked how much Gorly ETH was staked to launch. I think it was 640 was the minimum amount of validators. So that's like 20,000 ETH. Yeah, we've got about 700 validators total now. Uh, okay. So, yeah, 20, 21, 22,000 Gorly ETH in there. Yeah. What do we got? We've got 685 validators currently. I'm not sure if you all saw, I did a survey on uh, ETH Staker the other day about platform preferences. Um, I got a lot of good responses. Oh, yeah. What did you um, It looks like a lot of people are, a lot more people than I expected are using Intel NUC and Raspberry Pi. Uh, that's about 50%. Um, a lot of people interested in Prismatic, um, and I attribute that to them running so many good uh, public test nets. Yeah, yeah, they've been they've been very user facing yeah. for a long um, time. 
and uh, about 50% of people plan to make deposits the moment the contract launches. A um, couple of people waiting till till cool. mainnet launch and a couple of people waiting uh, six months after that. Um, looks like people are planning to deposit about 50% of their ETH hold. Um, so a couple of people at 50% of their ETH hold, a couple of people at 100% of their ETH hold and a lot of, a lot of stragglers. So mm -hmm. that was just... What kind? How much? Thirty-six. Did you get? Which I thought was okay. it was it's substantial for the size of the community. That's the ETH sticker, like yeah, Reddit. That's where I posted it. Right. Which I would say thirty-six to fifty is about our regular clientele. So. Yeah. Cool. I would expect. I would expect that community to grow probably a lot soon. <laughs> Um, just, I think only as we have like a very public multi-client test night, I think a lot of people are going to come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, Hey, Proto, what's up? I can hear you now. Just another uh, a heads up, I am still passing out POAPs to anybody that didn't get one. That's the uh, proof of attendance protocol token um, by Patricia Worthhalter. It gives you a, a catalog of events you've attended. Um, if you didn't get one, just message me and I will, uh, I'll shoot one to you. I lost track of everyone attending. Are we? Gotcha. Is this thing ending in five minutes? I want to I see. It is a hard it. ending. Let me see if I can... What we discovered in the last one was uh, it will um, it will put us a, a kilbosh on it, as <laughs> in it just kicks everyone out. What I what I didn't want to do was these the I mean we could watch this thing forever and never leave, um, so I thought it, let's <laughs> you know give it a a reasonable start and end. I can modify yeah, that yeah, now. Okay. Let's make it eight o'clock. Cool. Yeah, I guess for future, it probably makes sense to at least get three okay. epochs after Genesis. Um, I guess if, if things are going crazy and we kind of we need to keep a dynamic chat, I can just toss up like a Zoom room. Well, that, after. so I struggle between what's uh, no one wants to be on stage when they're stressed. Like when you're trying to resolve a problem, you don't, you don't want to be stuck in the chat. Like that's when you want to break to a private room. And so if things were wonky, I, I wanted to, to make it an easy out so we could, well, we, let's dissolve this and people can move to it to their yeah, own yeah, workspace. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I would just preface preface any of these with, you know, I might, <laughs> I might bounce. Uh, but if you see people good, disappearing, <laughs> That's you know the ultimate fear is uh someone trying feeling obligated to remain on stage while also trying to put out a fire. Yeah, I don't, uh, we won't feel that pressure. The pressure will be to get the network running. Looks like they're debugging. Uh, sixty-four could not process block sixty-four. Oh, interesting. So I have good news: the explorer is working, but it will take two epochs for it to show up on the explorer itself. <laughs> I've got to use Tmux. I'm still using Screen 1986. Oh, weird. <clears throat> I, just, I can't scroll up. Uh, can you guys hear me now? Yes. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's all better later, my friend. 
so uh, how's it going, Proto? Good. Everyone in consensus, running for our notes, um, and also experimenting with Lodestar. So maybe you'll have uh, five clients on the network soon. Woo. What's going on with your uh, your Teku Paris? Yeah, I was, I before Genesis, you didn't have a lot, a lot of Paris either. Not sure what exactly is the problem. Um, I can check on that later. As There's long as it's issue. just on Paris. Uh, Jam had a similar issue and is um, uh, it's getting debugged at the moment. Um, I just put loads of boot nodes into my into mine so I can see uh, a few. Have we finalized a finalizer? E We've justified. Yeah. Uh, although everyone's rendering. I see. It I see. Scenarios. Zero <laughs> is still justified and and zero is still finalized. I'm not seeing. Um, if you look at the E2 stats, everyone's rolled over to uh -huh. justifying the 64. Interesting. That may be a little UI 64. issue on our end. Yeah, and it's funny. Prism is reporting this as flat 63 uh, as opposed to flat 64, but they're all doing the same Right, route. presumably 64 was a skip slot. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, still seems like everyone's in consensus. At least yeah. Not checking. So, for some reason, we our UI doesn't report that we justified checkpoint two. I will take a screenshot. <laughs> uh, Which just UI? our uh, like console. The, um... It seems to be correctly reporting out of the mm -hmm. uh, gotcha. uh, the REST API. Can we see your stats console? Mm. Can we see your stats console? The yeah, uh, just like the your, uh, your console output for a second. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Do you have do you have like a a stats page running? I uh, got a like Grafana da uh, Grafana dashboard and APIs and about yeah. ten different windows. Yeah. <laughs> but console is consoles the best, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, I agree. Oh, it looks like uh, Beacon Chain is running. Um, the Block Explorer has, yeah. Sweet. What's our what's our participation? So looks not too bad. I'm seeing eighty five percent in the previous epoch. So it's going up. Yeah, not too bad. Um looks like the block proposal is about that um as well. Mm -hmm. The amount of blocks that were froze in the 80% range. Um, it looks like someone's offline. Oh, wait, that's <laughs> Afri? <laughs> actually, I can't remember if he actually got any uh, Genesis deposits done. He might have given the, um, the pushback on the Genesis. So that could definitely be him. Keyboard, I hear. 
Yes. <laughs> so, so Ms. Remo, when I mute my mic, I disappear because I don't have my camera on. No. <laughs> Not a great uh, I'll share my screen yeah. and you have something to watch. Yeah, please. Uh, can you see? Yep. Um, can you see still? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'll need to reorganize this a little bit. But this right here and this right here. So on the left, this one is the is Nimbus on the beacon mode. And this one is Nimbus on a validator. And so Nimbus has like two modes to uh, validate. As a separate right, validator just, client yeah. and within the, mm -hmm. the node. And that's, that's exper the separation of the validator client is kind of experimental, right? Yeah, right. pretty much. Yeah, I see some Java errors down there. Yeah, it's, I guess that's the node that's having problems. I like guess doing something, it's staying up, but on there yeah my java node is participating fine but i'm getting a number of uh yeah i have the, i have those same errors empty collection and stuff yep yeah this is in discovery isn't it um yeah we're aware of that i generated uh generated about twenty five thousand a day of those on uh, Viti, <laughs> which made the logs a bit unusable i haven't seen any yet though it's all uh it's all clean so far in my logs which is interesting. Mm -hmm. You just disabled them, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we? Uh, looks like we're about to cross over another epoch, which I think, if we have good participation, should be finality of that 64. About 10 yeah, seconds. Up. There we go. Uh, I've got. Hey! Uh, I think everyone yeah, finalized. Finalized, yep. Okay, it looks like our um, epoch event messages relate to previous one. Interesting. I haven't noticed that before. All right. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll uh, are any of the prison guys on this call? I saw Terrence, I think. Yeah, Terrence. Hey, Terrence. I'll message y'all, but it looks like uh, your API is not saying finalized plot. It's not including the um, script plot, but otherwise looks good. Cool. Hey, sorry, Terrence here. I have to... <laughs> hey, Terrence. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Bright and early, man. <laughs> So there is an API issue, I am aware. I'm gonna fix it right now. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. No, uh, that, that's not critical. Just wanna make sure you all know. Um, sweet. It's a great I mean, job, great job, everyone. Hope, yeah. the, uh, hope the real thing goes this smoothly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it will. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet, yeah, I just, I actually just, um, I got a physical machine that just arrived in the mail a couple of days ago. So later today, I'm going to get him set up and get some, get some nodes on it. Awesome. I just have cloud nodes right now. The one, the one, the one lesson learned for me is I, I need some more screens. I've only got the one screen. I need like at least four so I can see everything that's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Mission control. Yeah, that's the next project. Yeah, cool. Now you can multiplex like Poto Lambo. What is that? Uh, eight screens in one? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm running eight nodes for uh, different uh, clients, and for Nimbus, even like both the big node and validator ways of validating. Two styles of Nimbus. And I'm updating yeah, the cool. tackle nodes manually now, just to have less errors. <laughs> See if it helps. <laughs> Nice. In terms of key management, um, I only ran Teku and Lighthouse this time, and I was pretty much able to just use the same structured directories. Uh, are Nimbus and Prismatic 
they're a little bit different, Proto, in terms of key management? Um, so Prismatic is still wallet centric. They are working mm -hmm. on a new key um, store uh, structure. And then Teku, Nimbus, and Lighthouse are, are all very similar, but not quite the same. So you have to like read documentation and like experiment a little to get it all right. But it works. So mm -hmm. here we are validating on eight different nodes. Very cool. Awesome, great job, everyone. I might head off. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm bounce as well. Hey, Superfizz, I, um, I didn't see any POAP link. Should I have seen something somewhere? I, yeah, I intended to send one, and <laughs> I am popping it out to you right now. Good job, man. Thank you. Got to have those POAPs. I've yeah, I know, right? I got, I got the <laughs> app right here. There Did you, you go. receive it? There, there, there are my POAPs. <laughs> Patricio would be so delighted. Uh, I just sent it. How much, how much is it? Where, where, where have you sent it to? Uh, uh, I said it in this chat. I can send it to you on uh, Discord not, PM also. I'm not seeing it here anywhere, okay. but maybe I just can't navigate. Yeah, Discord's good. Thank you. Yep, I will send it now. All right. All right. Thanks, everyone. Good job. Thanks, uh, Danny, Proto, everybody. Bye. Yeah, yeah great work, everyone. Um, awesome. <laughs> Very exciting. All right. I'll... Uh, yeah, talk to you all soon. All right. Take care. Okay, appreciate everyone. you putting this on. Uh, this. Yep. Talk yeah, that's great. Later. All right. See you all, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys.